What is going on everybody? I'm Steve. This is Vanderbond's Wildlife and me and my family Ellie, our dog T, better known as TB12. Ben and Jamie, we're gonna we're in a clamming area here. It's a secret location, which I'm sure everybody that knows where we live can find it. And the water's probably like three feet deep here, but we're gonna work our way up into these flats a little bit, feel around with our feet, see if we can find some some uh, cohogs, cherry stones, whatever you want to call them, hard clams. They got a few different names. What? You want to come in? You want to come in? So it'll feel like a rock, guys. Just kind of shuffle your feet around. What's the matter? A little too slimy for my wife? Don't put on there something in between my toes. And I don't know what they need to Oh, it, nothing'll hurt you. This is what we're looking for, only bigger, and that one's dead, so. You can go up there, buddy, if you want to get out of the water. Yeah, it's awful muddy. Don't be grossed out. Look at her. She's like, ooh, squishing between my toes. I like that. Look at what Ellie just found. Did, did you just feel around with your hand? No, I um, felt it with my foot. That is a perfect sized one. <sighs> oh, sorry, dude. I probably smashed you down into the sand. You all right? I don't know, guys. I think we need to maybe find a different spot. And he's like, this spot, perfect. You're just waiting for me to come and step on you, aren't you? He just bit me in the foot, or pinched me in the foot, and I screamed like a little girl. They might have seeded that. Yep, those are all little babies. Make sure you put them back. Boom! They're slim, though. A lot of little ones. It's a sea clam. They look like the uh, steamers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, it's a little bit softer over here so you can kind of dig your feet in. You got more? Awesome. <clears throat> we used to find those sea clams on the ocean side of the Cape, little guy. And uh, that's what we would make clam strips out of. Because the steamers, you eat the stomach and everything. With those, you just, they cut all of the other stuff into strips and bread them. Watch out, buddy. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> they're, they're having a good old time. Clams, blue crab catch, clean and cook? Nope. I think they're, uh, yep, so you got them. This big one's the male and the little one's the female, so. We'll let them go about their business. Go. Yeah, that's a good one. That one's a, that one's too small. Jamie's not one for mucky bottom. When, when your feet sink down in there and you don't know what's underneath you, it's definitely a good way to get pinched. I knew that there was nothing there. There's nothing there. If I knew there was nothing there. Do you live here? Do you know? Oh no, I already clear I already you know swept all that. Are? Any luck, buddy? No, just not babies. The little ones? Yeah, he's close. He's right on the line. Probably put him back. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, I gotta get the exact name, but these are also good eating. Uh-oh. 
The only problem is this one might be dead. Yup. Oh yeah, baby. There's a good one. My drawers down. What? That's a good one. Heck yeah. I'm going to have to ask Mike for new seasick shirts. He's got fish blood and stains i can't get out anymore that's all right though i'm just gonna get the new ones dirty so i might as well wear the old ones awesome shirt too guys so when i get too much sun just cover the neck up of course my longer hair will do that now but it's kind of nice when it gets hot a lot of times i'll just get it wet put it on my head it actually cools you down Dead storms coming this way. Kind of looking like it. Good one. Let me see. Well, we made it home alive. We were like third in line to get our boat out. We beat the rain. Mom's doing some research here. There it is. So prickly cockle. There's a couple of different kinds of cockles. I couldn't remember the name, but that's what this is. It's a prickly. And they have the yellow cockle, which is bigger. And then these are surf clams. And uh, they're very similar to the ones we'd find in Massachusetts, but they the ones in Massachusetts, I mean, I can remember as a kid finding them huge, like that big, southern surf clam. So right now I'm just kind of putting them in water and uh, letting them purge a little bit. I found some the other day, put them in the refrigerator, and uh, they, these ones that come from the warm water do not like being put in the refrigerator. See how it opened? And uh, they, some of them stayed open, which means they died. The ones that we find in Cape Cod, shoot. You can take them out, stick them in your refrigerator and forget about them for days on end. These ones that come out of the warm water, they're like, <sighs> nope, give up, done. Yeah. Look at this. These are uh, tiger sharks right mm -hmm. here. You said this is a great white? I believe so, yes. And this is a Meg? Yes. Mm -hmm. like tons of them, guys. And these are some of the old ones we found on the beach. This is a horse tooth. They find them all the time out there. It's weird to me. We're gonna do some more shark tooth diving because that was awesome. So here I have my mom's recipe for quahog chowder. This is the one we're gonna make. It's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna run to the store, pick a couple of things Hi. up. You guys just hang out. No, I'm coming. Oh, you're talking to them. He's talking to the clams, <laughs> not you. Yeah. 
Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Let's go. I found this on the bottom of the gulf, and it's a perfectly egg-shaped rock. And something said, take it home and let Ben hit it with a hammer. Huh? Yes. We yes. <laughs> were that all the time. We'd find rocks. Could be a geode or something fun. Oh, oh my goodness. I have no idea what that is. I mean, there's shiny in the middle. It's a car coming. Yep. So that is awesome. I found a round rock. Woo! You gotta be careful, guys. A sharp knife can really hurt you if you put too much pressure and it slips. There, I got it in there. There's the hinges back here. So right now, if I was to pull that knife out, he would be perfectly fine. But the object is, is you gotta slide it down in there and he's got a hold of that knife. And now I'm just gonna get the tip down, there go. So just cut the first one and then slide it all the way across and you get the second muscle. And I'll show you them. Look at that juice though. You wanna hang on to that. All right, so now we can take our shucking knife. Here's our two muscles. So let me flop this over onto this side. I'm gonna break this off so I can show you. There's your two muscles. Just like a scallop, but they have two. Now we'll shuck it all over to one side. There's my bride. What you got going on over there? The golden potatoes? Yep. So again, Thin blade. You gotta just be careful. Cut the first muscle, do it over your bowl so that you can keep all that juice. See, cut the muscles, boom. So, I wanted to show you this too. So I'm gonna set him right there. Look at this dude. So, got it in there. These guys are a little more meaty. Typically, like when we were kids, my mom would make these into uh, fried clam strips and stuff like that. And you, that when you buy clam strips in New England, they're made out of like a sea clam or whatever. That's what we call them, sea clams. Let's see what I got. But look at all the meat in there. You can see how big the the foot is on those boys. Again, flat. Get it in there, go straight in. It can be tricky, especially if you don't have the right knives. There you go. And we just take all the shells and just throw them out in the driveway. And rather than a gravel driveway, they would have shell driveways in New England. Pretty cool. How oh, the potatoes and onions coming? The onions are strong. Is that why you're over here crying? I thought you were just crying because you were so happy you were going to get some New England clam chowder. That too. That too. Chop them up by hand here. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to cut our salted pork. Let me get this pork started. We're just going to put all that on a paper towel. There's our onion. And once they're translucent, we'll go to the next step. So now we can put our taters in, clam juice, and enough water to have one inch over the potatoes. I, uh, I rinsed them really good. You can see there is literally no sand in there, so I'm not worried about it. Been eating clams my whole life. Sand is just a part of it. You wanna add this back in? Yeah, go ahead and throw the pork back in too, honey. So you're gonna simmer that until the potatoes are tender. And then after they're tender, then you add the chopped parts of the clam. 
simmer about five minutes. And then in the saucepan, you're gonna heat the milk and butter, but not boil. And okay. then you're gonna add that. To okay, the I'm a one step at a time <laughs> kind of guy, especially this late at night. Butter needs to go in the milk, but don't boil it. So low, low, low. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't want things to curdle when you're making chowders. Jamie is sending pictures to mom. All right, so we're adding the clams. We're gonna let that go for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Let's just add our milk and butter. Now I have the heat turned down a little bit so we don't curdle it. And our pepper. Water teaspoon. Well, we lost one soldier. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all of your amazing blessings, dear God. Thank you for getting us home safe. And uh, most importantly, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross and save us from our sins. And we ask forgiveness of those sins uh, in your son, Jesus' name, amen. It's hot, a little too hot. A little bit. <laughs> Imagine that, we did it again. Let me try a bite, Mom. Very yummy, though. Is that? Mm-hmm. But for hot. Oh, yeah. Did you burn them out? Nope. Very good. Very good. But night, Al. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Fantastic food. Can't beat it. Go out, find it, bring it home. Cook it up. Thank you for the recipe, Mom. Yeah, no doubt. Thanks, Mom. I guess we're going to see you guys in the next one because uh, we're out of here. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Love you.